last week, was that a pivot or just a bounce uh, and we're going to get back to negative? What do you think happened last yeah. week with, with that uh, big rally? NASDAQ was up 8% on the week. Yeah, no surprise, I'm extremely bullish and I don't want to be Pollyannish. I know I have bebullish.com right here behind me. Um, but I think, you know, the reality of it is, and I think I, I don't like to agree with Jay Powell, but I actually do right now, is, I mean, his point yesterday was the economy is booming. I mean, we have unemployment at this point has come down precipitously over the last couple of months, and we have five million job, job gap between who's looking for jobs, jobs available. And, I mean, the reality of it is, you know, the markets are looking out maybe closer to like 24, 30 months from now, and inflation is going to come down. Supply chains are getting better. Um, and, you know, even oil prices, again, I've talked about this before, you got to get to like $130 a barrel before it's really a hindrance to the U.S. consumer. And, again, U.S. consumers have a trillion dollars more today to spend. So I think for all those reasons, and you look at corporate America, and if you look at corporations right now, they're going to have a trillion dollars in stock buybacks this year. I mentioned that earlier. That's huge. That means they're very confident in their businesses. Dividend yields are going up. Um, and now I will, I will agree with Dennis on one point, because I don't like to go completely against Dennis <laughs> ever. Um, I do think growth stocks, because we're going to be in that higher inflationary environment, you know, that, that run could be over. We get a big bounce here. They still could be in a bear market. But look at value stocks. Value stocks are up for the year. They barely nudged over the course of the last mm. uh, couple months as we saw this big sell-off in growth. So to answer your question, Wildly bullish. I think we could see a big melt up here. I'm going to be bold. And if I'm right, a great bottle of scotch I'll buy Dennis by the end of the year. So if the S&P hits $5,000, <laughs> scotch on me, Dennis. <laughs>